My name is Candice Kerridge and I would like to be your head prefect next year. I have attended Graham Academy since year 7 and particularly enjoy science. Outside of school, I like swimming, running and I have also played guitar for 8 years. I will be a good leader to represent Graham Academy because I am optimistic, reliable and passionate about acting on ideas of the student body that would have a positive impact on our school. I would like to establish a greater connection with charities in the local community so that we can contribute to change in society. In order to achieve this, we could host a wider variety of additional fundraising events in school, such as charity sports matches for all year groups and non uniform days to support organisations such as the Gospel Basics Bank. Our school will benefit from having student council with members that report back to the student leadership team so that your suggestions can be shared and acted upon. For example, improving facilities such as toilets on the school site and raising money to have better PE equipment. I believe that I will be a good role model for students because I am proud of our school and the values it holds. Resilience, aspiration and kindness are all things that we can strive to possess in school so that we can all feel comfortable in our environment and take responsibility for ourselves. The reactors we already have are extremely beneficial and teach us life skills that we may not usually learn in lessons. To improve, I think we should have input on what we learn in these days to set us up for success. Personally, I think there should be more sessions for us to learn about how to manage finances, own property, and what to expect when we move home. All of these will allow us to be more prepared for our future. I have high aspirations for myself and have set myself many goals to achieve throughout my life, such as becoming an astronaut and going to space. I feel like this is a good motive to allow me to always try my best. I would like us all to have a goal for our lives, to motivate us and be optimistic about the future. Whether that be having good grades, your dream job or becoming the best version of yourself, we can all have something to aspire to and believe that nothing is our approach. I have already achieved one of my goals by standing here today. This is proof that anything is possible if you don't give up and set high standards for yourself. No matter the problems that you face, with perseverance and hard work, you can become the person that you want to be. Thank you for listening and I hope you consider me as you'll have proof that next year.
To the younger years, like we were once, coming into secondary school after being at the top in primary school is a big step. We did it before and we will have to do it again. Yet, to them, they are still going to go through the, through the intimidation of seeing all the older kids in the hallways, who for them is still pretty frightening. But by including everyone in these activities, we are hopefully able to subtract some of this fear away from them. To have more extracurricular clubs like sports will be a massive goal for me as I stand here and talk to you. But being able to have these events going on non-stop throughout the year would be brilliant as we are then able to battle the expectation that as soon as your sevens come in, they will be intimidated by your elevens. To have a variety of clubs in the sports curriculum, I believe that it will boost the confidence and overall maturity of the school. As it is giving the opportunity for people to feel comfortable around others that they wouldn't necessarily be with while doing something that they love or have a passion for. Yet while this is a goal for me, one thing that we must remember is that to be head prefect is not about making all the decisions and going off on false promises, nor is it about popularity and who knows the most people, but, it's, uh, but it is about your commitment and dedication to the school. Thank you for listening. Scary years. 
In my year 9, the old years are for the children. In year 10 to 11, we are the young adults. My point is, is that as soon as we age, we lose all our food for the age we have been and maintain that we can get across our mindset. In order to change this, a bridge the gaps between the year groups, I would like to introduce a revision programme where mixed age students can tutor and support each other. This will allow students to recap the topics with which they are helping with, and also the other students have the benefits of revising topics with which they are struggling. It was Albert Einstein that said, if you cannot explain to a six-year-old, you do not understand it yourself. This is this essence that I wish to embody, that by being able to help others to understand something, you therefore understand it better yourself. In my eyes, it is a win-win situation. Throughout my time at the Academy, I've taken part in performances. I've helped at events such as open evenings. I've helped organise fundraisers. And I've even helped to run clubs such as the Lunch Club BSL with Andy Payne. This shows the dedication and focus I have towards Fairham Academy and its students. All of these events require teamwork and leadership skills in order to ensure that they ran smoothly. It is my ability in these areas that I feel qualified me to be an effective leader. My passion for helping at events and class proves that I have the students' best interests at heart and I'll do all I can to represent them within the student leadership team. If I am fortunate enough to be elected as head prefect, I will ensure that I do all I can, use all my experience and abilities to create and maintain an environment that, to paraphrase Abraham Lincoln, is by the students, for the students. In order to give everyone the academic and social opportunities that I had, so that the passion and capability that encouraged me and brought me here is available to all students, even if I'm not successful. I will still do all I can to strive for the best of the school and its students. Thank you for your time and consideration.